Hello everybody! Oh, well, it's so nice to have our third lesson on area and uh, to see all of your work that's coming in. We really appreciate it. We really enjoy seeing it. Well done to the people who are doing it. Amazing. Keep going, everybody. Right. We are going to start off on our starter here. It's still a little bit more work understanding and revising on halves. So here's our first question. What is the difference? between one and a half and five. Hmm. And what is the difference between two and a half and four? So pause the video, have a go. See if you can see what the question means. I hope you pause the video. What is the difference between one and a half and five? Well, let's imagine an arrow that was one and a half centimetres, so it starts here at zero and goes to one and a half. Let's imagine another arrow that goes from zero to five here. And the difference is well, the arrows both start in the same place, but one of the arrows finishes here at one and a half, and then this bit is the part which is the difference. So, counting up from one and a half, one and a half. Well, how many is it to two? Well, it's half, and then from two to five is two. So the difference between one and a half and five, well the difference is this bit here isn't it? From here along up to five because up to here is the same length. This bit is the same, this bit is the difference and the difference is, oh sorry, from two to five is not two at all, it's three. It's three and a half. The difference between one and a half and five is three and a half. We could have done five. Take away one is four. Take away a half is three and a half. What's the difference between two and a half and four? Well, two and a half is here. And four is here. Perhaps we should count up from two and a half to three. Well, that's a jump of a half. When we're on three, from three to four is one whole. Three add one is four. So the difference is one and a half. So to find the difference, we can count up from the smaller number to the bigger number. Okay, here are, we're looking at some problems. Can you draw a shape with an area of eight squares? What would it look like? Have you got some squared paper? Have a go. Okay, what could it look like? Well, use the squares. Here's one square. Two squares, three squares, four squares, four squares. I think I'll do two two lots of four eight. It wouldn't have to be two lots of four, would it? I could have done one lot of eight. So one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One times eight. It could have been anything where we have eight squares. Okay. So that was a good start. Ooh, here's a question. I've got shape A here and shape B here. 
And so my question is, does shape B have a greater, which means bigger, area than shape A? You have a go. Does it have a greater area? Does shape B have a greater area than shape A? Pause the video. Hmm. Let's try and work it out. Well, I can see it's a rectangle. I remember the formula for you. It's the length times the height. So, one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five, six. The length times the height. So for shape A, five times six equals thirty. So A, the four, the area for A is thirty squares. B is a rectangle as well. Three across three. The length is three, or the width is three. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and it's nine for the height. Nine times three is twenty-seven. So shape B has got an area of twenty-seven squares. So which is bigger? Which has a greater area? Oh, shape A. 30 squares is more than 27 squares. And we can do it like this. Shape A is greater than shape B. Because 30 squares is a greater area, a bigger area, than 27 squares. Ooh, here's another two to compare. Compare the area means say which is bigger, which is smaller, and how much. Well, shape A is a rectangle. It's three across. Can you see? Three across and two up. So the length is three, the height is two, three times two. Right, six. Six squares. Shape B, oh, I'm going to count. Count my whole squares. One, two, three, four whole squares. Don't forget the half squares. Half and a half. These two together make... Two halves make another whole. A half and a half. These squares. Two halves make a whole. So one, two, three, four, five, six... Ah! Shape B has got six squares as well. Shape A is the same area. So the area, I better write this a bit more, area of shape A is the same as the area of shape B. They're both six squares. That's interesting, isn't it? You can see that this rectangle has just been pushed over to become the parallelogram over here. Level two questions. What is the difference in area between these two shapes? Well, this one, do you remember the formula? Two across. Right. Two times three, six. Well, hold on. Shape B is... Four, which is four, and the uh, height is three. Okay. Four times three equals twelve squares. So, shape A is the area is six squares, and shape B the area is twelve squares. Have I answered the question? No. Because the question says, what is the difference in area? Oh, the difference. Well, hmm. 
shape A, shape B. If I, set, if I drew shape A inside shape B, it would be 2 across and 3 down. Right, 2 across and 3 down. It would be this much, wouldn't it? And then this bit is the bit that's extra. 6. Finding the difference. 12. Take away the 6 that are the same size. 12. Take away 6. And these 6 extra are the difference. 12. Take away 6. So the difference in area is Okay. How many different rectangles can you draw with an area of 12 squares? Do you remember the formula? Very useful. The width times the height of the rectangle is the area. Okay. So that means that I've got to make rectangles with an area of 12 squares. So... The width times the height makes the 12, which is the area. So I've got to think of numbers. Something times something makes 12. The width times the height equals the area. So what times what makes 12? Well... I remember these lessons we did before about being systematic. Let's start with 1. 1 times 12 equals 12. Look, we are wanting to make the factors of 12 and use them. OK, well, that means I could draw a rectangle that is 1 up and 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I could draw a rectangle that looks like that. Yeah, and I'll write that it's 1 up and 12 across. Height 1, length 12. 1 times 12 is 12. What should we do for our next one? We've got to be systematic. So we've tried 1, 2. 2 times what makes 12? 2 times 6. OK, that means 2 height times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two times 6. Is there another one? How can I find it systematically? Well, I've done 1 times 12 is 12. 2 after 2. I should do 3. Keep working. 3. Is 12 on the 3s? Yes, it is. 3 times 4 is 12. Can you see how all our work on multiplication and factors and multiples is going to help us here? So, this one should be 3 across. Sorry, 3 up and 4 across. OK, 3 across, 4 up, so the area is 12. Well, 4, we've done 4, 1, 2, 3, we've done 4, 12 is not on the 5s, it is on the 6s, but we just draw the same rectangle the other way around. OK, that's good. Last question, can you draw a square with an area of 16 squares. Well, oof, remember, all the sides of a square are the same length. So, I'm using the same formula, the width times the height. I know that my area's got to be 16, because the question tells me 16, and I want a number times by itself that makes 16. I'll think of the factors of 16. 1 times 16, those numbers are different. Not 1 and 16. 2, no. 2 and 8, 16's not on the 3's. 
Ah, hold on. Four. Four times four, the same number. So we can arrange 16 squares into a lovely square shape. And in year four, we learn year five, we learn that 16 is a square number because we can represent it as a square with the four across and four up to give an area of 16. Okay. You know what? You can pause the video and have a go at this as an extra question on your sheet. But this is your main work here. Have a look at these questions. Level one, you need to draw me a shape with an area of seven squares and a shape with an area of ten squares. In level two, you need to put shape A, shape B and shape C into area. Sorry, into order of size, starting with the smallest area. Then for level three, you need to draw as many different rectangles as you can with an area of 18 squares. And in level four, you need to work out the difference between the area of shape A and shape B, shape B and shape C, shape A and shape C. Enjoy your work. Well done for all of your hard work. We're all so impressed. Keep working. Keep going, guys. See you soon. Bye.